Welcome back, viewers. Um, this is um, the morning show, Banjul, and we're beginning uh, the second segment. Mm -hmm. The second segment is a current affairs, we'll, which will be spearheaded by Buba and Omar. What do you gentlemen have for us today? Great. Uh, today we have a very, very intriguing issue going on and very disturbing as well. Mm. Uh, we have seen government workers being maltreated and exploited by uh, foreign nationals. Mm -hmm. um, like the Chinese have been exploiting the government youth who are working with them. Uh, if you go to Westfield to Jimpex, all mm -hmm. those Chinese and Indians up there, yeah. almost all their workers are Gambians. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've gone through a lot of, lot of serious maltreatment. And uh, we've got reports this morning that uh, even the Chinese in Basset are uh, definitely giving hard times to their laborers. And uh, what I believe resulted to all of these things is because uh, the way labor administration in this country is not very very, very savvy because at Gympex, I've talked to some youth at Gympex mm. and they told me that some of them do not even have uh, their contract later from the, for, uh, company. From the company or even an appointment later they don't receive it from the company. So how can you be working for a company mm. without an appointment later because uh, if, if, if the company on a default on its responsibility or on its duties where are you going to head to? Because you have not signed any documents. We yeah. he has not given you any appointment later. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think uh, the company owners also should not take that for granted because uh, there are certainly youths in this country who are yeah. kind of desperate if I can use mm -hmm. that. Yeah. You know, they want to get a job. They want to do something. They don't want to sit and rest on their lawyers. They just want to get something if it's going to be daily. So they, most of them though are not even aware that they need to sign a contract, contract first. Yeah. They don't care about the appointment. Soon as you're going to give them their money at the end of the day or they don't want, they are cool, they trust them. Yeah. Right? Because, because they need to get something going on in their lives. Right? And also, I think uh, it's not even limited to the private sector. Even, if, 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 even in the government sector we've seen, you know, certain problems, but that one is at least contained. <coughs> the problem is in the private sector. Uh, we have seen uh, certain teachers in some private schools who also have problems with their with the administrators mm -hmm. and you know they could not get justice mm -hmm. because uh, the labor administration in this country is just is just crazy and what the problem lies in the in the, in the people at some point because uh, if you want to make labor relations mm -hmm. intact we need to as a worker, you need to join a un union, at least yes. a trade union, or workers union, mm -hmm. so that if you cannot boost your agenda by yourself, mm -hmm. if you cannot solve your problem by yourself, you take your problem to the union, and we will sit over it, the union will sit over it, mm -hmm. and push it for yourself. Because, for example, if you have your, a problem with your, with, with, with your boss today, and he's more connected than you, he's more powerful than you, he's got the money, mm -hmm. he's got the connection, he knows people. Like, if he has connection on the ombudsman, he can do some, I mean, if you go there, they can be, go tomorrow, come yes. tomorrow, you know, after you get exhausted, you go on with it, mm -hmm. right? But if you join a workers' union, at least your right will be pushed by the government, mm -hmm. uh, by, 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 by the ombudsman, by the, yes. and by your, your unionist mm -hmm. also. And one thing that I, 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 I would advocate for is for the government to make sure that we have uh, minimum wages. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have minimum wages, the worker will, will be continued to be exploited, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and also, uh, labor laws, we have labor laws on this, in this country. Mm -hmm. I mean, no proprietor of any business or any company or the government itself can exploit you because there are labor laws. The problem is these laws are not enforced. And every worker must be wary of your rights mm -hmm. and your responsibilities as well. Mm -hmm. So I think these things need to be mm -hmm. put into consideration. Well, we will be able to do this because 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 we will be able to do this 
fi ci bir rewbe ndax ñu suñ len yakalo lo ndax dina am sañ sañ am fi compagnie be di employé gambien ci so duñ wara bay suñ xel bu baaxa ba ñun mi liggey ak ñun ñu ñuy liggey parce que parce que soko sété ñun mi hamantene ñoy employé ci suñ suñ amut comme xol bu neex ci lu ñoo liggey comme liggey bi yow sax sa liggey du mëna dem kanam so legui ñom lu ñoo toro xalé ñooñu ñom sen compagnie bi ndax xalaat ngeen ne ñom tan dinañ am xol bu neex sen compagnie bi kenn xamut sa wër sa kumuy ñëwé digala ñom employé nañ la pour nga liggéeyal leen waye ñom suñ la daxé ndax dinañ amat keneen ko leen am liggéey parce que li dé kana ci internet bi ñepp ngeen nekké di wax ba chen ci lu nekké di def sen liggéey kat ndax dinañ suñ la bëggona employé pour nga dem liggéeyal gaay di nga dem do nango dem xam nga parce que do nango luñ def kele ñu la ko def so lolu yeb war nañ ci bay xel bu baaxa ba man la ci omar mom tam la lam ci saani um you are right wax nga degal because rew mi fi our country we have a problem i think it's also a general problem in the world you go to europe they have a problem of employment uh, employment security is always a problem employment and security is a problem all over the world but we must not be reluctant to address the issues mm-hmm. and that is why we have the labor act we also have what they call the industrial tribunal that have to do with contract of employment but um it is just that is why i'm happy to say that we will have a new program that is called the ballot power mm-hmm. the ballot power will deal with all these problems uh, it is going to be a civil education program mm-hmm. um the employment in the gambia exploration of the masses is high mm-hmm. um that is why we have a lot of gender based violence mm-hmm. Um, that is why we have a um, lot of youths that are not working and that is also we ha- why we have a little bit stigma of discrimination um, the change is if equally like the Gambians mm-hmm. uh, human beings need to be dignified mm-hmm. human beings need to be respected no matter how mm-hmm. being a boss or being an employee or an employer should not warrant you to exploit a person perhaps unlawfully and that is why if Um, in fact it's good that the labor act has provided that if a person is to be employed there must be a probation period and after the probation period there should be what they call a particular of employment that should clearly spell out what you should do because you should not be doing work in limbo meaning that you just be doing work because your boss assigned you to do it yeah. you don't do that mm-hmm. there's a particular of employment that you should limit yourself mm-hmm. onto yeah and Most of the time where people have problem is not your particular of employment but other assigned functions so. that you are given and you did not want to do it. Mm-hmm. That's where you have a problem with your boss. Mm-hmm. So perhaps they will tell you you have to please your employer. Um, it's true naturally you have to be in a very good relationship yeah. but the plea didn't have to be in accordance with law. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it should not be like for instance you cannot ask a person to work on public holidays because exactly. it is declared by law that it is a public holiday. Mm-hmm. So, At, at times you ask your, boss, your your staff or your employee to work with you you tell him well it is it is not possible and perhaps your boss will be you know trying to interrogate his power to wash you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and this is all addressed by our laws but um the the level of poverty the level of ignorance the level of illiteracy is definitely doing great in each quarter yeah great like i would have to agree with him there but also you mentioned a very good point like the way that the mindset of the employees mm-hmm. they believe that they just have to get their jobs done and they don't have any source of uh, employment outside so they just have to give in to whatever they are treating them they're treating them bad they are giving them employment mm-hmm. and that is also the mindset might be the mindset of the chinese people because they believe that they are the ones bringing in employment for us mm-hmm. so uh, if they are giving us opportunities to build ourselves and get on with our livelihood they have the right to exploit us i believe that is their mindset that they mm-hmm. believe that they can exploit us anyhow they want because they are providing food on our table ñom wow. ñu am liggéey rek ñu né la aman xaliss bi la la fay ngene la nangu na am na yéna keyt yo xamantene duñ na ko dena ngo jox te yow bala ñu koy xam nga bay liggéey bi wara dem uti ferer suñ la laajé keyt bobu loy wax ah man suma boss joxon ma joxon ma keyt ñu da ngé wa ñaka janga bi tamit lool tamit war nañ say bay xel bu baax bu baax yeah and also uh that that that's a prime example here in in 1980s i mean the the, the, the world economy or especially for developing countries went down you know and uh, many african governments suffered greatly and in the gambia we have seen uh so many staff government officials were were, were laid off mm-hmm. because the government cannot pay all of them almost 700 teachers 
we are retrenched. We are paid off from that job. And but what happened was uh, there was a discrimination in this layoff. Mm -hmm. The teachers that are from the rural Gambia were mostly affected by this layoff mm -hmm. because uh, the teachers in the in, in the Banjul mm -hmm. told the government that you know, okay, nun Banjul link the cup. I'm in tall. Why didn't you get sick of me? They can go back to their farm and have a living, okay. right? Mm -hmm. And you know, people that were laid off by the government were mostly the breadwinners of their family. Mm -hmm. They are the ones who put food on the table, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, but the government used the economic exigencies as the mm -hmm. as the reason, which was not food at all. Mm -hmm. And we've seen a, a very massive protest in the, in, in the Gambia. It was bread and water protest. <laughs> you know, because people are hungry, people, yeah. people need to be fed, mm -hmm. right? You know, so and, and also even uh, according to the labor labor administration, the labor relations, even if your company mm -hmm. suffered liquidation, if you think you cannot run your company anymore, before you lay st staff off, at least he should be compensated. Mm -hmm. Before you. It's normal for the company to run out of profit yeah. and you know want to lay some stuff off, but it should be done according to the law. Mm -hmm. And also, even if you want to close your company, there's something called severance pay, which every staff is, uh, is, 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 is eligible to. You should give him a certain amount of money. Mm -hmm. Even if your company is going down, down yeah, yeah. Gambia, we can give you a salary within 24 hours. No, <laughs> no, but no, thank you very much, Buba, for bringing this onto this platform. It is really um, important that we talk about this because we are going to educate people out there. So, because we are running out of time, I would just like to input something there. Like, uh, for example, natural disasters today uh, require a certain uh, amount of attention because we know that uh, coronavirus, uh, the pandemic, uh, we know that we are suffering it and people who are working are supposed to be getting their uh, payment mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that because uh, the natural natural disaster came yeah. that I should not uh, receive my salary every month yeah. and that is one thing that I re uh, I've talked to people about and people are still not uh, going through I think this is a discussion that we can discuss another time mm -hmm. and we will dive more into it yeah. um, this brings us to the end of the second segment we will go right into the third segment please stay tuned don't go anywhere